guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by if you're new and welcome back if you're already a subscriber my name is crystal and today we are going to go through the top five bronzers that you need to invest in if you're starting your makeup kit especially as a pro artist or if you're just genuinely interested in makeup that i recommend if you're like getting into it all this is where you should start so i am an oily combo girl i like these ones for myself but i do also notice that i like these for my clients specifically as well they're my go-to's and i cannot say enough amazing things about them i have a series on my channel covering all of the different categories i'm not quite sure if the other videos are up yet or not if they are i'll have them linked in the description box below i'll have prices i'll have information and all that throughout this video and i will have everything linked in the description box below for you as well if you are interested in buying any of these products this video is not sponsored but i just want to have that out there for you just so that you guys can find these products because it would have made such a difference for me when I was starting out as a makeup artist if I had this kind of information accessible. So before we jump into the video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every Saturday at 6am Melbourne time and I am trying to throw in an extra video in there on a Thursday or a Wednesday. I'm not sure just yet, but either way, it'll be up at 6am Melbourne time. So make sure you have the post notification bell turned on so you don't miss any of those uploads. And I'll stop babbling and let's just get straight into the video. Okay, let's go. Let me get my coffee out of the way, get myself set up. The first one that I have here is the bronzer that I have on today. It is the Fenty Beauty Shady Biz. I honestly think this is the best shade that she has. She has so many. Um, this is her powder foundation. I haven't really gone into her creams because I'm not a massive cream girl but I do find that this is kind of a tried and true bronzer if you want to invest in your kit blends super easily doesn't go muddy it doesn't go chalky at all either or break apart on the skin especially if you are an oily person dry it does still work as well um these are the sun stalker bronzers as well sorry I think I forgot to say the name <sighs> Super easy to keep clean because it's just like your plastic packaging. It's all smooth, easy to travel with. It's plastic, so it's not going to like break in transit as well, which is great. You get a decent amount of product, so you do get two point, sorry, can't read, 6.23 grams of product. Um, it does have a 12-month expiry date, so you will need to kind of hammer through it. But I find that bronzers is something that I always get through by the expiration date, which is really good. So number one is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. And the next one I want to talk about, now this is actually in my project pan, so it is kind of a bit smashed up. But this is the Too Faced Sweet Tea Bronzer. It just looks like this. It's been around forever. Cardboard packaging looks like this inside. One half is luminous, one half is a bit more satiny matte, and I just swirl them all together. Um, I actually think this is a bomb nose contour particular product i absolutely love it particularly for the nose um, it's really really long wearing super pigmented i've never had anyone say that they don't like the color it's just, i don't know it's hard to put it into words it's a really nice balance of cool and warm and it's just a nice sheen like it's not too glittery it's not super matte it just gives you a nice sheen which is good um a lot of people don't love that flat matte like cut it and do that whole chisel at the jaw thing they don't love that they want that softer look especially for brides i know that brides are very particular about it so this is probably one of my favorites for brides and bridesmaids um this is a product that i would definitely repurchase once i run out of it because i do love it so i definitely recommend that one now this guy, like, you can't go wrong, cannot go wrong with this particular bronzer. And it is Hula by Benefit. This is the jumbo pack. Um, again, cardboard packaging. I just seem to really like cardboard packaging. I don't know why, but she looks like this. Honestly, it's such a beautiful neutral shade. There are different versions of Hula now. Like you can get Hula Caramel, Hula Toasted, all that sort of stuff, Hula Light. So I just still find the original Hula is the best for that. Super pigmented, super blendable, doesn't look muddy. It doesn't break apart, super long wearing. I love this in particular for around the forehead. Like I have a massive forehead in my opinion. It's all illusions guys. Um, and I love this on the forehead. Like if I could use a different bronzer on different parts of my face, this would be on my forehead. The sweet tea would be down my nose. I'd use the Fenty Beauty for my jawline. And then there's the other ones I'm going to talk about as well. 
So I absolutely love this product. Super, super easy to work with. If you can get your hands on a jumbo, I don't know if they still sell them anymore because this was limited edition when I purchased it when I was in the UK. I don't know. I'd, I'd be surprised if they didn't still have them because like people smash through this stuff. It's a really nice size to get your brush into. So much product you get. I can't even see how much product. 16 grams worth of product. You get so much product in that. That's actually crazy. I think you get as much product in this as you do in both of these other two that I've already spoken about. Super cost effective. Um, I honestly love it. Like I will never not have hula in my collection. I think I have like three or four hulas in my collection, like the jumbo, regular size and minis. I love it that much. So definitely, definitely recommend that one. Now this one I'm only recommending in this video because some people really like creams versus powders i'm a powder girl i'm not really massive on creams for the face but they are on trend at the moment now this one is by chanel it is expensive i'm just going to put it out there so it is the chanel soleil tan de chanel looks like this it looks like the poop emoji i've used this a couple of times and it looks like it's barely been touched smells like rose which is such a luxurious experience um it's super easy to use like honestly it's not hard to use for a cream product some cream products are really scary this one's not like i like really wish they had other shades in this because it's not quite dark enough for what i'm looking for but if you just go for an everyday beachy kind of look honestly you could just chuck this on with a little bit of like face tanning oil and you'll look very put together and sun-kissed um, I am going to try and make a bit more of an effort to use this more often. It does look really nice and beautiful. Super luxurious packaging. It is plastic, which kind of takes away from that luxury, from the fact that it is so expensive. But people really like creams, and I just still stand by the original cream bronzer that came out forever ago. This has been around for such a long time. There are so many people that talk about it. I, I literally purchased this because Tati Beauty talked about it a million years ago, and I just I had to try it. And... It's a beautiful little like display piece as well once you've finished using it. Now my battery is flashing at me so I do need to hurry up. The last product I want to talk about is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Airbrushed Bronzer. This is in the shade Medium 2. Look at that packaging. Absolutely stunning. If my camera cuts out, I will refilm this bit. This is what she looks like. Absolutely beautiful. Such a massive pan. Like look at how big this is next to my face. It's like almost my entire face. It's so big. You do need to get this shipped over from the UK to Australia. It's not cheap. I'll have all the information on the screen for you guys as well. But this is super blendable as well. This is an all over face bronzer. I don't have a specific spot on my face that I would want it to be. It's just all over the face. Also, they do have a shade range. This is medium. Light is too light, but I find that deep is too deep for me. I just definitely prefer the medium and I love it. I just think it's such a really... Luxurious experience. I love Charlotte Tilbury. I love all of her face products so far that I've used and this is definitely one of them. So highly recommend for your kit and like honestly when you whip this out and clients see it they're like what is that? Like that is so pretty. I love it. But anyway... Because my camera is flashing, let's wrap this up. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you like this mini series that I have going on my channel so far. And do decide to subscribe before you leave. I hope you have a lovely day. I will have more videos at the end of this one for you to click on next. Make sure you have the post notification bell turned on and have a lovely rest of your day. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.